Ah, Alice! Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Really? I didn't even know... Oh, my. my pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your health velocity. I don't have much experience, but I do need to reconstruct my... We can barter. Have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you're... There's a train that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Most vexatious, no doubt, will address that monstrosity directly, as to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a logisterical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. The munificent script needs fetching. The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then, you'll need to assemble the show's tune-deft music. And finally, gather our stars! The show's tasty... Uh, nay, tasteful performers. You should leave now. The essentiality of haste is essential. It hardly seems you're ready for the show. Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc, etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or clatter or natter, as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-ta. spent as much time practicing as you do in Wonderland, you'd be the next Sullivan or Gilbert or one of them. <laughs> You're sufficiently fortified to kick some air to boot these creatures in every region.
place smells like a ripe distillery with a whiff of halitosis and urine. That's a scent of unrecognised genius. It's a piss off. More empties than a Dublin brewery. The carpenter sent me. For starters, the carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty fogging moron. That's his maybe, but he sent me for this script. I need... Your needs are shite. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my abortive career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it, and we can deal. A lifetime hiding his true colors gives him an edge, but he can't conceal the way he moves. Writing's an apt occupation for an octopus. He never runs out of ink. Where the ink flows, the octopus goes. Follow the ink. This is too easy.
me now. You won't have me again. Unpleasantness, remote in time and space, has only as much power as vivid memory offers it. Good sport, and no one died. Join me in the library, unlike some who don't Welsh. The carpenter commissioned a song and dance number on morality. Art and good sense be damned. He demands mirth, silliness, and a strange debauchery all round. While us will do a hero turn as death. Imagine! I'll bring the script to the theatre. You can be on your way. No doubt Carbon has got you collecting piskeen fevers for the musical portion. Man rarely hires a proper talent. Some fish can sing, but not all. Bye, Adios. Baby, ho. 
hurting. I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. Who might do it for Everyone me? Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum.
something wrong. I can't find the time for the nerves. It's surely not lost. Perhaps mislaid. I suppose I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light. I doubt it. The performers need their efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please wake them with this exciting news. Not burned beyond recognition, as I recall. It was the smoke, you see. One day, you'll be joining them in the Oxford family vault, I imagine. Two down, one to go. Oysters are the presumptive stars of the show, if you can wake them.
interrupted my dreams. Oh well, off to the show, I suppose. Indeed. Unusual, perhaps. Even extraordinary. But nearly nothing is unique, Alice. Yours was not the first brick home to be destroyed by fire. Show. 
it's ruined. If I can't put it back together, Carpenter will grind my pearls. The proper order of things is often a mystery to me. You too. Troubles and torments at a distance where they may be easily forgotten. Resume our place before our adoring fans 
You're not an impresario, you're a killer! The mastermind of a criminal enterprise! This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, big deal. The show distraculates the crowd, shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start wailing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. It's a friend of our secret cells, Alice. Your rabbit, too. I'm sure Dinah was a confidant. Always about, wasn't she?
I need my men. They may be hostile at first, but their true souls are trapped. You must release them. Do they want to be at peace? They do not know their own minds. What's true of the living is often true of the dead. releasing me I never dream That's it that's it good girl
a soul be so ignorant? I'm an answered prayer.
be as good to yourself as you've been to us. Pull anchor and heave to, men. It's the wide and glorious main for us. Whoever destroys a soul, destroys the world. There is much wisdom in that, Alice.
no time to waste. There's no time at all. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all.
time to waste. There's no time at all. Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. Quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, shirts and gowns all make their little fronts. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident. You want someone to blame? Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, Princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast, 
Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where does it come from? It arrived when you arrived. And it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! What? Oh, the blood in my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. Oh, what did he want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, button into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead, I killed them, I should have saved them, I should have died. But her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honesty is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped eyes like penguins, drooled, occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes are food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you- You call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing, as you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hookin's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. <sighs> don't I know it? <laughs> 